Hey guys, what is up? This is Out Ninja2334, and today what I will be going over is going to be the best class setup for the Pytech loophole, which I think is actually the best LMG in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And gameplay is going to be a Pytech DNA bomb using the loophole, of course. You know, I gotta get the DNA bomb, you know, with obviously the gun I'm going to be showcasing. So, comment down below what you know, what kind of gun you want me to do next. I know if someone said LMG, so here I am. I know it's been a while, but. I finally got the next one out here, and it's gonna be with the Pytech loophole, of course. And I'm sorry about the gameplay if it like it keeps like skipping around, looks like I'm cutting out parts. It's not me, it's my Elgato like software. Um, so I have a really crappy computer. My new laptop should be coming in the next couple of days. You know, I'll get that set up, and that'll be you know a lot smoother and everything to edit and all that. But I got this really old crappy hunk of junk, and it's I can't you know record in 60 FPS. It lags too much, and occasionally it will lag like this game how it records and like. Parts will be cut out and all that and like sped up or slowed down. So sorry if you see that, you know, it's not like me editing. I'm not, I mean, I'm not that bad at editing, guys. So it's not my fault, you know. Well, it kind of actually is my fault. I have the crappy computer, but, you know, I can't do anything about it until I get my new computer. So hopefully you guys don't mind me like cutting out different parts. So enough about that. Let's get right into the class that I'm using. And pretty much the perks and the kill streaks stay the same, you know, for all my classes to get DNA bomb. I think it's you know the best out there if you guys want to try to get one I would recommend using that so I'll, I'll go over that you know first and I'll go over you know the specific perks of the Pytech so the kill streaks you gotta use for if, if you want to go spe specifically for DNA bombs you know the UAV and the system Mac you know that's the basics ever you always want to run those two then if you, you know, want to spice things up a little bit go for the higher kill streak not necessarily for a DNA bomb you know if maybe throw in the warbird bombing run assault drone you know depending on what you're feeling like but I just recommend using those two, and on my UAV, I have Threat Detection Enemy Direction. It's pretty much like having an orbital from Call of Duty Ghosts and an orbital VSAT from Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, all together. So it's just insane, you know, you just, it's OP, I think, but it's so good. Then the second perk is System Hack, and I put, uh, just get rid of, uh, disable enemy, uh, EXO, so, you know, they can't EXO boost and all that stuff, so that helps a lot. And the perks, you know, I have Lightweight. Which is really necessary. You always want to, have, especially. You may, I mean, you can put on, you know, ghost or whatever it's called. I don't have low profile. You can either put on low profile, you know, or lightweight, depending on what. I prefer lightweight, especially for this class. You want to use lightweight because you got LMG. And then for the second perk, I have blind eye. You know, it's just in case someone gets like a lucky, you know, air support. You know, you you're good. You're good to go. Sentry gun. You're not gonna kill you like BS. Like one off. A DNA bomb, you turn the corner, there's a sentry gun, like, you can't do anything, but you know, you had blind eye, it can't kill you, you're good to go. And then, the third perk, I have toughness and scavenger. You know, I used to have blast suppressor and scavenger, but too many times, you know, I got killed with, you know, my recoil, and you know, when I have my flinch is going up too much, and it would get me killed and all that, my aim wasn't as good. So I put on, uh, toughness and a blast suppressor, and I've been doing a lot better. So I'd recommend using those two, because I mean, I don't know, just if you're playing against bad people, and then you know, they're not going to be looking at the minimap anyway, and know what those little bursts are, that's the enemy guy and the enemy team, you know, they're not going to know that. So, that's, you know, the, everything else, I'm going to go over the specific perks. And what I used on this class, and what I found to be really good, was having Grip, then I have Quick Draw, and Stock. You know, Stock, obviously, I like to run Stock in all my guns, you know, because I ADS a lot around corners, and you move a lot faster on the corners, it's like having Stalker from MW3. And stock is really necessary. I think SMGs, you know, you're pretty much already got built in stock because you already move the corners faster. You know, assault rifles, you know, you turn the corner faster. I like, to, I think it helps winning gunfights. I just feel like I move faster and it's easier to get down the hallways, you know, ADS around corners. I think it helps a lot. I prefer to run that. And then the second perk I had was quick draw. And with the LMG, you scope in a lot slower than with, like, let's say the Bell ASM1. You know, so you can't win those gunfights much. So if you turn the corner and none of you guys are ADS in, and you go to you know to, to aim in to shoot him. He might have like ASM1, so he can do, like aim in faster and be able to kill you. But since you got quick draw on, you aim in as fast as he will. And if you whoever if you better aim, you know you can kill him. I found the loophole actually has a lot of damage and it kills actually really fast. In my opinion, I think it's actually you know, like almost one of the best guns in the game. And actually, you know, I'm not gonna throw that out there and be like it's in the top five best guns, but I think it's probably in the top ten maybe. I mean, don't maybe t top fifteen. Definitely the best LMG though by far. 
Pytech loophole. I haven't really used the exploit. My own friend was saying the exploit's better. I don't know. I love the loophole. I think it's really good. I'd recommend using it. And the last perk I had was grip. Obviously, you know, the recoil long range you know, helps to aim, the accuracy, and all that jazz. So, if you enjoyed today's, today's episode, make sure to drop a like, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and, you know, comment down below which gun or, you know, specific class, you know, you'd like to see me use next. You know, I've already done an SMG and an LMG, you know. Comment down below, you know, what specific gun you want me to do next and give DNA, DNA bomb with, and I'll give you guys my class up. So, in the video, drop a like. Also, turn on my notifications so you guys know when I upload some out. Peace.